that you can, I saw the police use too much restraint, right. too much restraint. And I even went to some of the police that were there and said if they needed help, but they said they couldn't. I <laughs> well, appreciate that, idea. you really had to uh, But I appreciate that. The so thing is, you could make it off. You could make that off. That maybe we show too much, yes. too much, I wouldn't say restraint, because we never want to use any, but uh, tolerance. In, in, but the thing is, it's a, it's a fine line between, you know, like, we have to, sometimes you have to make a, a subjective decision of, you know, we have 300 people there. And they're not criminals. Yeah. Most of them are not criminals. They, they were actually telling, some of them were telling the police, you, know, they, you hear won the election, Obama won. You can't do nothing no more. Yes, right, they were yes. making some comments, but uh, <laughs> I guess we didn't hear them all. Um, yeah, but, but well, I, I actually want to address election night. Uh, oh, I was there as well, but I wasn't on that for that. I was walking up Madison Avenue and I saw the police officers with their guns pointed at the Capitol. And they were saying that they were going to go to the Capitol. And I said, well, I'm going to go to the Capitol. And I said, well, I'm going to go to the Capitol. And I said, well, I'm going to go to the Capitol. Okay, I mean, I'm not the only person that has worked at the Okay, so 
Well, you have an option of the last question. actually quoted me uh, from the Greenpoint Gazette, or the Williamsburg Gazette. Is that, uh, okay, um, um, I sort of read a bunch of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and then on top of that, you, you also quoted my video um, in, in regards to the actions of this one particular police officer. Okay. Um, now, I have to first correct you in the fact that it just wasn't one individual who had their camera or video camera or phone to wipe away from them. This particular officer did well, take Hold on, let me stop you. You're correcting me? I never said there was only one, one person there to the opponent uh, video. No, 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 but you did allude to the fact that there was only one individual who did have their equipment that was smashed away. I only said one person got their equipment smashed away? Yeah. No, I never said, I only said brought up one. I never said. I said one individual. I never said he was the only one. Okay. Okay, so just, 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 just share what you said. I'm just saying that you had alluded to. Thank you for correcting that. Okay. Um, and so that particular video was in a collection of videos that kind of demonstrated the, the actions of the police force that particular evening. And uh, in the, that assortment of videos, there are two particular officers. You, you mentioned this particular officer with the handlebar mustache, who was very irate throughout the majority of the evening. And actually, when the officers arrived initially on the scene with uh, dressed up in riot gear, was pulling and pushing people who had been standing to either to his left or to his right. Um, and there's another individual that was captured on the film, and hopefully you saw, had an opportunity to see this video, that uh, uh, there's an individual who I think is in this room this evening was talking to an officer, and he comes up with his shield and pushes him as he's having a conversation with another fellow officer. An altercation then uh, ensues where this particular individual is, why did you just push me? I was having a peaceful conversation with this officer. And then all of a sudden, he starts yelling and screaming at everybody else on the corner and decides to grab me and push me onto the sidewalk and continue to shove me onto the sidewalk as I was already standing on the sidewalk, demanding that I get on the sidewalk. Also that particular evening, there were, uh, I, I'm sorry, but you know, this is just... What's your question? Uh, what, what is my question? My question is, what is happening with those two particular officers? Do you know the specifics of that, uh, those events? And how come I wasn't, if, you, if you're a community affairs officer who was doing outreach to the individuals that were on there, how come they didn't contact me as the one video producer who happened to have the most views on YouTube for that particular evening? Why didn't my community do an outreach to contact you? Yeah, I, I was. I, I say I was doing outreach to people who had the videos. Well, you said you were doing outreach to the individuals within the community that participated. Within no, that. I, 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 I don't have any point to be able to. Do that. Do you have the and not this minor point about YouTube. If you could address what, his, what he said about how the police behaved, not this minor point about YouTube. Oh, I thought I did. I, I, what happened was, and I, if I could re reiterate. 300 people, non-planned event, non-planned demonstration. You're not supposed to do that. Now, everybody on that corner could have been uh, arrested. You weren't, were you arrested, sir? No, I wasn't. You could have been arrested. Yeah, I know. Now, were you asked to leave? Uh, yes, I was asked to leave. Why didn't you leave? I did leave, multiple times. So you have an option, like I told the gentleman, you can file a CCLB against any officer that you feel like they, they treat you disrespectfully or anything like that. Uh, that but I will reiterate, in my opinion, and, and I, I know I'm not a neutral opponent, I know that I'm somewhat biased. These are my officers that I don't want. They work for the, they work for, you know, the police department, but they, they serve the community. And their best interests, for the most part, are for the community. 